Hi guys, Abs here. I'm going to be taking you through a demonstration of the new WordPress plugin for the Bookmark Lovers. It's an update that we're going to be sending out um, and I'm going to be giving you the link in the email or in the post that you're actually viewing this video in. Um, now, the up I'm actually inside of the new Bookmark Lovers WordPress plugin settings section and what you'll see is towards the very bottom um, we've got a new we've got a new section called category filter now this category filter what it allows you to do it allows you to have and give much more control over what posts you're going to be sending to bookmark lovers now one of the reasons we've added this filter inside of here is because we've got a number of WordPress users or sorry we've got a number of users that are actually using the WordPress blogs as um, press release um, blogs where they're allowing a number of users to actually post free press releases on there um, however they might be getting like 100 200 or even 300 posts and articles submitted every single day with that in mind guys you know having that many syndications going over to your twitter tumblr wordpress free accounts and it, it, it's just not going to happen it's not going to keep your accounts live um, but users still want to be using this plugin on there for certain categories that they might only post once or twice to every single day. So as a result, what you can do now is you can enter your categories inside of here, separated by a comma. So for example, you might have five categories inside of your WordPress blog. You might have them named category A, category B, category C, category D, category E, category F. Um, and if you only want your post to get sent to category A and category B then what you can do is you can actually enter category A inside of here separated by a comma and then category B and what that will mean is when you go to make posts onto your WordPress blog as long as you're assigning them posts or pages sorry then post to category A or category B um, or whatever you got noticed in here then it's going to allow your WordPress posts to actually get sent over to the bookmark lovers website now it might sound a little confusing now I'm going to be giving you an example as well um, but just to give you a much more understanding of how it does work is if it is kept empty then it's going to work as it does work now so every post that you make is going to get sent over to the bookmark lovers website but if you do enter a category in here or categories in here then every Every post that you make will not get sent to the bookmark lovers website unless it, they, are, they are assigned to the category that you note inside of this section here saying this guys you always have the option to override each post inside of that post as well so I'm going to be showing this in action now so I'm going to leave this empty I'm going to go over to posts now I've actually just made a post I, I, I was actually recording the video and I realized that my mic was on mute so I've done a 30 minute video and my mic was on mute and I actually went through the video made a brand new post for you guys showing you how it's done and everything as well unfortunately um, I, I just lost everything on there so I've had to re-record re this again um, anyway so um, I'm gonna go to the the post that I've just made and I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can resend a post as well so previously or on the current plugins that you work with now guys um, you need to enter a short code now that short code is send is 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 the hash hash or the pound sign and pound sign send to bookmark lovers hash hash or pound pound and then you need to click on update that no longer works now we no longer need to worry about that of course if you're still using the current plugins guys then that's the only way it's going to work until you actually update this new plugin once you do update to the new plugin then what you're going to have now is you're going to have a checkbox to actually check if you want to send it to bookmark lovers and uncheck if you don't want to send it to bookmark lovers now really depending on what plugins you have installed on your wordpress blog and how your wordpress blog is configured it's going to depend where this checkbox is going to be located so for example when we entered or when we install the plugin in on a free WordPress blog we had a checkbox just there however on my blog I've got a number of plugins installed on here and I'm actually showing you this plugin on my own personal blog then we've actually got the if we scroll all the way down um, just above the all-in-one SEO pack we've got a small checkbox which says send post to bookmark lovers now it will make sense me checking this if I want to update the post and send it to bookmark lovers which which is what I'm gonna do but first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck this and I'm gonna okay I'm actually logged in here on my bookmark lovers server engine click on update we've got nothing in there guys obviously what you also notice inside the WordPress plugin settings section guys is that we didn't have anything related to the best spinner in there the whole reason behind that is 
uh, the whole reason behind that is because the best binner details are now located on our bookmark lovers website so instead of having our blog go through the whole process and the communication with the best spinner it gets done from our server now um, which is taking a lot of strain away from your your own blogs anyway so um, in previous versions uh, to send the post to bookmark lovers or an updated post to bookmark lovers we'd have to add the short code now what I'm gonna do is check this checkbox here I'm gonna click on update guys and this should get sent over to bookmark lovers let this update my blog is actually working and running fairly slow guys I'm not sure if it's due to my internet connection if it's due uh, to it being a Saturday today um, and I'm, I'm not really sure anyway I'm gonna click on update from server and as you can see here comes in the post um, now this is the free keyword research tool post that I've just done there as you can see it's in spinned syntax format and the whole reason behind that is because we've got our details inside of the bookmark lovers website okay I hope I didn't delete them because I'm gonna be going through them soon okay fantastic now that got sent over um, to our bookmark lover server because I actually had this checkbox checked now so all you need to remember guys is if you want to resend a post to the bookmark lovers website then all you need to do now is and is check the checkbox let's have a look at a new post okay I'm gonna put this on pause because my server is running real slow okay no worries there um, okay with a new post guys as you can see it's automatically checked there send post to bookmark lovers um, so if you want to override the post so for example you're making a post in here now um, and you know that if you're gonna publish it you got bookmark lovers installed the only way not to send the post to bookmark lovers is to go over to the WordPress plugin um, and deactivate it um, no longer you don't need to do that any longer now what you can do is actually come over to the post find the checkbox uncheck that checkbox and then post away and that will ensure that your post will still go live on your blog but it's not going to get sent over to the bookmark lovers uh, connections um, which is fantastic just make it just allows you much more control now I'm going to give you another example of working with categories because as soon as we activate the categories then we're going to get a category filter option that's going to show up as well so this is my category section down here as you can see I've got a number of categories noted down here now I'm going to give you an example of backlinks let's take backlinks I'm going to copy backlinks I'm going to go over to word my WordPress settings um, sorry my bookmark lovers plugin settings and I'm going to enter categories I'm going to enter backlinks inside there and I'm going to click on update settings in essence what this is telling the bookmark lovers plugin now is anything or sorry any post that I publish in the category backlinks should get sent to bookmark lovers any post that I publish which is not in the category backlinks will not get sent to bookmark lovers so I'm gonna give you an example now I didn't want to give another example of me making another live post on my blog and the whole reason behind that is because I've actually got my RSS feed um, linked to my if this then that account so any post that I make on here regardless of the bookmark lover server engine working or not then I've also got if this then that working in the background from the, my RSS feed which isn't great especially if I'm gonna be making a test post but just for this example I'm gonna be showing you this test post now and I'm gonna delete it um, okay so I've added backlinks in the category settings now the very first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is the new checkbox that appears if we go down again as we can see um, we've got a new area saying category filter override now what this allows you to do it allows you to override the actual filter you won't really see anything down here when you're making a brand new post because you're gonna be making the changes from here so for example now I'm gonna put down test one two three test oops where are we gone here we go oops where is it what on earth's happening there okay um, all right let me refresh this I ain't got a clue what happened there it's gonna refresh the page guys okay test one two three and test oops test one two three now in our settings we've told bookmark lovers that we only want this post to get sent over to bookmark lovers when we assign the post to the category backlinks um, now as you can see 
these category filters we don't need to worry about them just yet but I'm going to give you an example now if I assign this to backlinks now it's going to get sent over to bookmark lovers if I put this on any other category it's not going to get sent over to bookmark lovers um, actually I'm not going to do a live post because I think it's going to be fairly straightforward to explain this so if I click on update now if sorry if I click on publish now this post will get sent over to bookmark lovers because I've checked the backlinks category now one example of using the checkboxes down here is when you have a post that you want to send over to a category that you've got noted in your settings area um, however you want to override that setting in the individual post so for example I want to publish this now to bookmark lovers sorry to to backlinks to the backlinks category um, but I don't want to send it to bookmark lovers so I'd actually check this here do not send post to bookmark lovers so in essence you've got a settings in here saying that if I publish a post in the backlinks category then send to bookmark lovers um, however this is allowing you to override that initial setting so uh, so yeah that's exactly how it would work and if I actually publish this now into install WordPress tutorial for example it wouldn't get sent to the backlinks uh, to bookmark lovers and the whole reason behind that is because we haven't got it noted in the settings area now let me show you how it works on an updated post as well okay okay that's a draft draft fantastic I can delete them later okay I'll go into free keyword research tool and as you can see down here it says do not send post to bookmark lovers and if I want to send the post to bookmark lovers guys I'll uncheck that and I'll check send post to bookmark lovers and that gets sent over for us which is fantastic so so the only, they are the only difference that, you, that you're going to get on there um, if I go over to bookmark lovers um, settings section again guys and remove the category filter um, then that means it will automatically get sent to bookmark lovers each time I make a post um, unless of course I use the checkbox and tell it not to send um, so if I go back over to the post again it's going to remove the category filter options from that menu um, because we're not using the initial override so down here we only have send post to bookmark lovers and no category filter override okay guys this is the new plugin um, I'm very sorry about the tutorial and I'm very sorry for rushing this if there's any un if there's anything unclear about the tutorial um, then obviously I can go back and get another one done for you um, and I am going to be putting out um, a PDF for this as well I really should have got this sent out last week uh, we've got loads of new things coming guys um, check out this free keyword keyword research tool as well um, I mean I've actually just put, I wanted to get this sent out to you as well um, okay forget that um, okay just go over to my blog and you can actually check out the free keyword research tool that we've got on there uh, it's multi-threaded works great um, and, and it's free of charge um, we've got some awesome things coming up in the pipeline as well my team have been extremely busy um, and uh, I've been so busy that I think it's been over about 17 or 18 days um, maybe even longer that I haven't been able to get an email sent out to you guys um, and there's so many things that have been going on that I just really don't know where to start um, so I'm just trying to organize everything up and getting everything really organized before um, I actually contact you guys and let and let you know of, of the juicy stuff that we got coming your way um, and of course being on my list being on my list and being a user of mine you're only going to get the best um, best of deals um, but yeah we've got loads of great things to come guys have a look at this keyword research tool um, I'm sure you're going to love it keyword research is basically the stepping stone to our online success without proper keyword research guys we can find out months later that all the SEO work that we put in went to waste basically uh, because the keywords we targeted um, only only hold it like say five or six keyword uh, searches per day or per month uh, which isn't really gonna you know help us in what we want to do um, anyway guys we've got so many things to come I really hope this is going to help you out and it's going to work much better for you guys as well um, and we've got loads of updates to come to bookmark lovers as well um, now with bookmark lovers we're changing the way that WordPress is going to post guys it's no longer going to be using the email function email function was a failure um, I didn't like the way that it worked guys so I've changed it over. well I'm changing it over so that it posts through the dashboard same as posterior as well and same as any other one that we had an email um, and and yeah fantastic um, I hope you enjoy it guys and see you soon.